Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the new features in the interface. Okay, that was introduced with Java 8 and Java 9. So let's discuss about them. So there were four new features that were introduced in Java 8 and 9, two in Java 8 and two in Java 9. The four features are default methods, static methods, private methods and private static methods okay so let's discuss them one by one by the help of an example so let's create a interface that is a customer okay and let's define one abstract method so it can be void purchase and int amount okay so previous video we, you have already seen the concept of interface and how it works uh, we can only define the abstract method and as well as the variable it, it, that is defined is a public static final okay that you know but starting from java 8 you can define the default methods so default methods are nothing but the regular methods that you you use in any other classes okay so we can write default void and then display details okay and then simply you can print something like customers customers are from india okay something like that so this is a method which has you are not just declaring the method you are implementing also right and there is another method which is like static void and what name you can put is maybe message so in message you can write something which is common across the whole hierarchy so you can just write pay at time get quality goods okay something like that and let's define two implementation classes so i'm going a bit fast because we already know the concept of interfaces okay we just need to know how these default static private and private static work okay so one of the customer can be retail a retail customer which implements customer interface so alt enter implement methods and purchase we have to compulsorily implement the abstract method that is provided in the interface okay these method this default method we don't need to uh, provide the implementation will come to it okay so what implementation can we provide we can say purchased goods worth rupees and then amount okay and simply let's have another uh, implementation so wholesale this time and wholesale customer maybe and it will have uh, also implement the customer interface okay control enter alt enter implement methods and we can write here uh, the same thing i'm uh, I'm copy pasting from above okay or you can just say purchased goods in wholesale okay so you can see that both have their own implementation for the abstract methods now coming to default methods now if you don't implement the default methods in these two implementation classes then this method will run okay so let's go to the main class and let's create an object the first will be customer one which will be of the type retail okay so this customer one dot purchase amount passed is twenty five thousand maybe and customer one dot display details this is the one thing next is customer customer two equal to this will be the wholesale customer perfect so customer two dot 
purchase and let's go with 50,000 wholesale amount you purchase in large quantities so more payment maybe customer to dot display details now if you print these two for the purchase there the class level implementation will execute but for the display details method the common implementation that is there in the interface that will apply now suppose this wholesale customer says hey man i am not from india i am a wholesale customer of yours from usa so it has to provide its own implementation so control o and display details and here you can just write i am customer from usa okay now if you run the method now the implementation the class implementation of this default method will run so i am customer from usa you can see it clearly here perfect now if you want to implement this static uh, method then you just have to call customer dot message you cannot call this static method using the implementation classes okay of course you cannot call using objects because it is a static uh, method which is a class level or interface level method but you can only call using the interface name so if you run it you will get pay at time get quality goods also it cannot be implemented by other methods okay so if you try to replicate this whole method uh, if you try to replicate this one here and say let's just for ease let's say uh, retail okay and if you try to do this again it will not work and to make it override you have to do and you have to provide an annotation of override so if you provide it it will throw an compile time error okay so it will say static methods cannot be annotated with at override this is because it is any static method which is present in any class is not a part of inheritance it is a class level method that has to be called using the class or interface in which it is declared and defined okay so that you have to understand so if you want to call this you have to use uh, retail dot message so if you do retail dot message then you can call it is but remember that this message method of the retail is not an inherited method from the customer this is to be noted very carefully okay now you have similar kind of private void and uh, maybe you can say process details okay we'll talk about it uh, we can say it's a private method it's private method and let's put method name itself okay and there can be another one private static void format message uh, format message and it can be its private method and just copy paste this method so we can just copy paste it and we'll get this okay now these methods also can't be called outside why because it is a private method as we have already discussed uh, in previous videos that these private anything that is private is private to that interface or the class and it cannot be accessed outside the interface or class okay so why this is introduced in java 9 because suppose you want don't want to write the implementation detail inside the static methods then you can write your implementation detail inside this private static method and call this method inside the st the public static method so that you can easily uh, hide the implementation details that's what abstraction is all about if you want to know more about the abstraction and the concept of abstraction you can watch the video which is there showing in the i button okay 
Similarly, for the default implementation, if you want that, okay, I want to hide the implementation, I don't want to do implementation here, you can do the implementation in the private void process details and you can call this process details method inside this. Okay, so it will only show the end result which the which is actually the goal of the uh, abstraction okay so these are the four new features that were introduced in java 8 and java 9 the default method and static method was introduced in java 8 and private uh, method and private static method were introduced in java 9 now why they were introduced here you may ask because interface is responsible for achieving abstraction and we were using abstraction or we were achieving the abstraction by the abstract methods okay but this abstraction was achieved with the help of the design okay but we also have to take care of the object oriented structure so in object oriented structure when we are trying to do abstraction there we have to take care of the code uh, reusability okay if you are writing the same logic the same code again and again in all the implementing classes then it's of no use that has to be very clear so to avoid the redundancy and to avoid code duplication or logic duplication and to maintain the backward compatible backward compatibility these default method and static methods were introduced and to achieve the further abstraction within these default and static methods these two private methods were introduced in java 9 i hope you have understood it clearly right now uh, there were few more things that was introduced in java 8 and 9 means in the you can say in java 8 that is functional interface which we will discuss in upcoming videos as well as some concepts like lambda expressions were also introduced right so we will learn about them in the upcoming videos for that stay tuned and if you have not subscribed if you are new to the channel if you like the video you can press the subscribe button if you are already a subscriber you can like the video and share it with others till then bye bye